Except for his cloak, he's naked. Celtic warriors usually fought naked in battle. Look at his hair. It's washed with lime to make it stand up round his head in a fearsome way. Most warriors had bushy moustaches and sometimes beards. And round their necks they wore beautiful golden torques, which they believed had magical powers. When fighting from the chariot, the warrior's principal weapon was his spear, about six or seven feet long with a sharp penetrating blade. He also carried a shield. This is a particularly fine ornamented one. As he rode along, he hurled his spear into the enemy and then swept past. At his right side hung his sword with its bronze scabbard. After he hurled his spear, he might have brandished his sword, but more often he would have leapt down from the chariot and used it in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Well, I don't suppose Fitchett and Capsule would have stood for much of that, do you? You know, we still couldn't discover why the two ponies weren't trotting or cantering with the chariot. And then Bill and David had a brainwave. The yoke, evidently, wasn't, it wasn't long enough. It was actually stopping the ponies from running. So we had a new, longer yoke made. And now, at last, we're going to show you what our chariot really would have looked like in action. <laughs>